check this horn out. Check this out. This is the Chagro Vin Rotary Flugelhorn. We just got it in on consignment at ACB and it is beautiful. Stay tuned in this video and I'll tell you more and play this great horn. Stay tuned. Everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. I'm having a great day. Today's Saturday is my video day here at the shop. You probably won't be watching this on a Saturday, so good day to you, whatever day it might be. This is a horn that just came in to the shop from a dear friend who I'm selling it on consignment for. It's the Chagro uh, Vienna or Wien uh, Rotary Flugelhorn, and it is just glorious. It's in raw brass, as you can see. It's got quite the patina. We haven't cleaned it just yet, so we will clean it so the patina might get a little bit um, lighter, uh, but overall it is just great. This horn does also come with the uh, Bresselmeyer made Chagro uh, rotary flugel horn mouthpiece. It's very important on these horns, <coughs> pardon me, because these horns have a German taper and that's different than most of the standardized tapers that we here in America use on flugelhorn, even, uh, even different. So we have the large Yamaha Morse taper that's used on a lot of flugelhorns. We have the small Bach American taper. We have a French Queen on taper. Um, there are others. I've measured more than just four, uh, including this German taper, which is kind of like a trumpet mouthpiece. Uh, you could kind of put a trumpet shank in the horn, but it doesn't work nearly as well as this German tapered mouthpiece. So three rotary valves and a trigger. Uh, it also can use this as a high B flat vent key. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me demonstrate for you. wondered why they have a little plastic here is because that helps facilitate that resonance of that particular partial. Now you can play it without that, of course. Um, and by, by the way, doesn't this horn sound just glorious? It's such a beautifully sounding horn. Um, but it does help. Uh, there's a great video from my friend Jack Bird, who's a Chagall artist, that describes that. So the horn itself is in great condition handmade in their Meister series in Austria. Uh, just a, just an amazing horn. Let me um, turn this mic down. Actually, I'll use my ribbon mic. The rotary valves have that seamless sort of like gliding ability through the notes that just is so, so much fun. Uh, I love this horn. If I didn't play an Adams and I have a, I do have a glorious Adams F3 flugelhorn I, that I, it's probably the best horn in my collection. Um, 
I would definitely pick up this horn. This is a great horn and it's priced very fairly. It's only been used a slight amount. It had one ding in it that's up, that a great tech in Boston took out for my friend. And like I said, it's a little dirty and it's in raw brass, um, but we'll clean it before we ship it out to the new customer. Let me play a little bit more on it. Yeah, just so much fun. So that's a quick little tour of this beautiful Schagel Wien Flugelhorn we have for sale. Thanks so much for watching all these videos. Please take a moment, hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with us. We couldn't do it without you. We appreciate you so much and keep on keeping on. Cheers.